in the cases where ventricular megaly is caused by this fluid blockage or excess pressure of fluid, which we call hydrocephalus, then um, sometimes we can determine that actually during the pregnancy, and sometimes we can't determine that until after the baby is born. Once we determine it based on the size and the rate of change of those ventricles or on the overall size of the baby's head, then we will involve the pediatric neurosurgeons to help determine if specific treatment needs to take place. The treatment is basically to allow that fluid that isn't draining well to be drained elsewhere. And this is usually done with a surgical procedure where they put a small catheter just into that fluid space and allow it to be drained, often into another part of the body that can absorb the fluid very easily, like the abdomen or peritoneum. So that, the most typical form of drainage, is called the ventriculoperitoneal or VP shunt. If your child has hydrocephalus and needs a VP shunt, uh, then actually it can be very helpful for your child's development. The procedure itself does not cause brain damage and is not dangerous. And then, basically, the brain is no longer under pressure and can develop to its best potential. Uh, you don't need to stay in the hospital with a VP shunt. It's something that's under the skin and people live their lives with it. There are actually many healthy, fully functioning people who live their lives with VP shunts. They do have to have regular follow-up with neurosurgery to follow their health and make sure that the shunt continues to work. But if we find hydrocephalus and can treat it with a VP shunt, that's a positive thing. Hydrocephalus is a progressive problem, meaning that there's a rare, it's the rare baby that has an enormous amount of fluid buildup right at birth. The usual situation is that the fluid builds up slowly, sometimes weeks, and sometimes even months. The, in general terms, however, if a baby has not needed a shunt by about six months of age, then they probably won't need one. I've certainly placed shunts in children that are older, but on most cases, we, we usually know by the first few months of life. If the baby has not had a shunt by the time he or she leaves the hospital, then typically we will watch that baby fairly closely with monthly ultrasounds, and that'll give us a good sense of what that fluid buildup is doing inside the baby's brain. Is it staying stable? Is it getting larger? Obviously, if that fluid buildup is getting larger or increasing, that would prompt us to do a place of VP shunt.